No, no! Oh, I thought we were gonna tip over right there. Yeah, I'm back again with another video. You know what I'm saying? Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And we're here back with part four of WRC 24. I did the first three parts just to gauge how you guys will like the game. And I figured we're gonna do each rally each episode so if you guys want to see the central european rally you can go back that's the first three videos but we're going to do a rally each video we're going to get through this career now last episode we did buy a new car and hopefully it was the right class i forgot that that's how they let you progress through things so we did week two now we're on week three and let's see what the target events are for us fia world rally championship regulatory icons tour For the 2024 edition of the FIA World Rally Championship, a brand new point system has been introduced for the top tier WRC category. From this season onwards, points for each rally will be distributed across two separate sections called the primary and final leg. The primary leg will account for the majority of the overall championship points awarded for each event. At the end of the primary leg, the points are locked into place for the top 10 crews based on their current leaderboard positions. Okay, okay, okay. Bonus I get points it. are then given out to the crews that are it. the fastest over the final leg stages. Yeah, this is definitely going to take two weeks. This, this is definitely going to be a two part video. Scratch everything I just said. We're going to have to, wow, look at the damage. We're going to have to make this a two part points. video. Power Sage points are still on offer, and crucially, in order to secure the points from the primary leg, crews are still required to complete the entire event. Now nah, the Last scenery year, is the crazy. The points has changed. The final podium positions for each rally are Man, still these real life locations look great. Event times. We hope you enjoy this fresh challenge within EA Sports WRC. See you out on the stages. That's crazy. I recently watched Leah Block win the ARA Rally Championship 2023. That's ironic, man. Let's see if we can win our own. 13 events, guys. 13 events. We're going to have to lock in. And here we have Rally Monte Carlo in the rain. Now you guys let me know, I am recording with a webcam now. Like I said in the past video, my Canon camera, the port doesn't work anymore. Let me know if the quality is good, is it bad? Is the wheel cam look good? Is it lagging behind? We're gonna film this whole episode and hopefully I get some of my performance back because, because what I was using was eating some of my performance and it was the only thing that would make my stream lag lag. But here we are, event 1 out of 13, FIA World Rally Championship. The weather they pick for these rallies is, is, is very, very, very funny. But I guess you can't be mad because you can't predict the weather. So it is what it is. We've done this rally before, just never in this car. Now, this was just one of our shakedowns, so we do get the extra tires. It wasn't too bad, but you don't want to get more damage than like body panels and quick fixes. Because we still have a whole rally to go through in our car. And then there goes the rain and I instantly slide off. Wow, I'm not going to lie. The engine bays for WRC, they have been impressing me. They surely have been impressing me. And like I said, you don't want to take on too much damage in your shakedowns, except for just body work, which can be a quick fix in our exhaust, which happens normally. Happens almost on every rally. We're way under the repair time. And let's get into it. This crew is ready. Their car is ready. 5.7 miles. Day one, we'll Rally Monte Carlo. Good luck. Right, 
Bad first corner, but it's okay because we can make it up. No, we don't have as many stages as we did last time. We just came off the back of a 30 minute rally. That was a rough, rough hairpin, but we still got through it. We managed him right now, first person. I'm not gonna lie. First person definitely allows you to be more locked in, way more locked in. We couldn't get any grip in the rain on that hairpin. Up to three right, half long, tightens. Up to three left short, 60. Hairpin left. Well, we are in front of the class leader right now, and I feel like that is only because we are in first person and we're not talking so much. So I'm gonna stop talking so much and we're gonna get back to y'all at the end. Roll it right through these corners. We have a good lead on the class leader, so we should be able to just cruise to the end. I didn't cut, I was sliding, oh man. Not too bad, not too bad. We definitely came in first. Some great driving on that opening stage, putting this pairing in a break. And we did the most work on our tires, but we, it paid off. It paid off. Our tires are yellow. Probably gonna need a new set. Man, I just look at the graphics sometimes and I'm like, yeah, did not do a bad job. Not do a bad job at all. <laughs> I didn't think we had this much damage. I get, I get you. Thank you, Keith caring about me i didn't think we had this much damage i'm not gonna lie i thought we would at least just have some scratches maybe a couple dents let's see how bad it is exhaust radiator and we're still good on time so we're gonna go ahead and do this fix critical damage to our body work which i thought were just light taps on to part two a well-used service for this team as the engineers seem to have done an excellent job in setting up the car Starts slight right 40. Good luck. Hmm. So these are all different routes on the same rally stage. So is this the FIA World Rally Championship just for Rally Monte Carlo? And then we get into more, we get into the next one. Because this is one of those that I have not done yet. So let's see how good it is. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. I can't tell what type of what type of road are we driving on. Is this dirt, gravel? Is it just very light concrete? This is a smooth, smooth stage though so far. It's funny. We use engine braking sometimes, even though you would never do this in real life. I do it just because it's a video game. And we never get any engine damage from using the engine braking, which isn't a thing on rally cars. <laughs> but yeah, first person definitely seems to be the move to go if you want to win. Third person for just, you know, casual driving and trying to show off stages. But we are killing it in first person right now. No, no. Oh, I thought we were going to tip over right there. I was going to say all that work put in just to go over a wall on the side and literally tip over. I told you guys in the beginning that this was the best rally car there is. The Ford Puma, I'm telling you, the GR Yaris is the best rally car. I'm telling you guys. I just can't wait to get into the actual dirt part of this game. I hope there's some good dirt stages and some good dirt graphics for the cars, for the road. Got kind of wild right there. 
70. Two right, long, 80. Four left short to turn, two left, 60. Over finish, four left to the rest to stop. Okay, it's a three minute, 4.9. And that one felt good. That felt like a good rally, and I'm pretty sure we beat the class leader. I was not even paying attention. Basa de Patronel, 354.9. And the car looks pretty good after. The car still looks good after. A whole 10 seconds on the AI. Now, we did not turn the AI down at all. It's still on 50%. We're gonna move up. We just have to get better at the game, but I'm leaving it on 50%. We've lost. We've scored zero points. We've had some bad endings at 50%. But yeah, that's part four, guys. I'm gonna see y'all back for the next two stages and we'll close out the FIA World Rally Championship.